Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. Blessings, namaste, and peace always be with you. Always sending out nothing but love to you guys and positive energy. So in this video, we're going to go over how to just simply liberate yourself. Simply liberate yourself from any trauma, any negativity, any doubt, any anything that just causes dis-ease, anything that just causes stress, anxiety, anything really that allow it doesn't allow you to for you to be you, for you to be vibrant, for you to be your most authentic childlike self, like when you were a child and you were just free. So remember when you were a child, and this is not gonna be an exercise of using your mind much, but just for the sake of context, you can allow yourself to use a little bit of the mind just to remind yourself how it was when you were a child, how free you were. You weren't thinking bills. You didn't know the concept of paying rent. You didn't know the concept of what are people going to think. You didn't know the concept of classes, social classes. You didn't know the concept of having a bro broken heart, you didn't have the concept of really much anything. You were exactly like Adam and Eve. You hadn't been exposed to the polarity of the world. Because when you're born, you're born with a clean slate. You're born with a clear awareness, a clear way of seeing things. You haven't been tainted. You haven't been, your mind hasn't been activated in reality. You are just pure in the sense of just being pure observation, pure consciousness, and you're just allowing that to flow through you. You're just experiencing life from that present from that perspective, from that greater being that you are. And then, as you're growing up, people begin to, other people's minds that's already been corrupted, it's usually your elders, they try to embed their mind on you. They try to activate a mind in you. They try to spark the personal self with, ideas with concepts with jargon of you need to be this what are you going to be when you grow up um, as if you aren't already enough as if you aren't already what you're supposed to be and they start to plant those seeds of doubt of becoming a personal self, becoming an identity, becoming an ego self that needs to individualize itself. It needs to be separate of everything else and it needs to be able to survive on its own. So you are brought up to trust only in the mental capacities you're brought up to only use your mind and that that is the ultimate way of you living and in your development of your mind that you will find all the solutions to this life that you will live a happy life because you will strategize your plan to set everything in order so that once everything is in order, you will be happy. And that is the general 
matrix, the general concept of what it is to be here in this world. And eventually you get to a point where you are not yourself anymore. You are this thing that you think you are. You're not your happy self. You're not your free self. You're not your infinitely joy self, infinitely energetic self, infinitely unconditional loving self like when you were a child. Because now you have all these preconditions set by your mind, set by the expectations of your own self now that you've put there, set by expectations of the world, you allowing other people to put those expectations on you and the list goes on and on. And now you are having to meet those expectations, having to strategize your way through life. And if those things aren't in order and you are not completing your puzzle to what you idealize to make you happy and how your life should be, then guess what happens? The stress comes, the anxiety, the uh, broken hearts, the suffering, everything. And it all just feels so endless in your pursuit of happiness and overwhelming to many and in some cases too much. And you just want it all to end. You just want to rest. You just want to be in peace. But you don't know how to be in peace anymore. You don't know how to be in rest anymore. You don't know how to come back to your center. And that is the process of you being your pure, most loving self to forgetting it to where many and most people might be in the state in the world. And now, how do you get back to that? And there is going to be a point of surrendering, surrendering the need to follow your mind anymore there is going to be a point of knowing that that's not the way and once you allow yourself to remain not persuaded by the mental aspect that you were programmed and that mind was, you know, set in motion, you are able to sit back and not follow every thought, not follow every impulse, not follow every, every emotion, every need, you will simply start to allow to accept things for what they are. And slowly, but surely, slowly, you will strengthen that inner child again, that inner awareness. And you will find ground again. You will root yourself in the ground of trueness. You will root yourself in the ground of the real you, the strong you, the super intelligent you that is beyond mental intelligence or mind intelligence. You will reach divine intelligence where 
it just intuitively knows. It doesn't need to strategize a plan to set everything perfectly for you to be happy. You will intuitively just be and you will intuitively, naturally be led to your happiness without any preconditions or expectations or needing anything to be in place for you to attain that happiness. You will naturally just become happiness. And you will realize that all the things that take away from your happiness are these thoughts, are these programs, are these things that were put in place in front of you from a childhood. And you will let go of them and trust your actual heart and all the other fears and anxieties and suffering will just evaporate because you will know it wasn't true ever. It was never true. All of that was just your attention being distracted, your awareness being hijacked by an illusion, an illusion of if this and this happens, that then you will be happy when you don't need this and this to happen for you to be happy. You can already directly connect to it. You already have a bridge to it. You are in action. You don't need anything. And slowly it becomes clear to you, crystal clear how this is true and how you get there and how you are it and how you have it right now. There is no exercise to do. There is no path or journey to take when it is simply available to you right here, right now. And, and it's as simple as you just allowing yourself to remain unmoving, to remain empty of all these thoughts, all these identities and personalizations of who you thought you were and how you think you should be and how you think everything should be and how all of these things. And it might be hard for some people because they're overly invested in this. They're overly invested in this way that the fear kicks in, like you're going to lose it all. You're going to hit a insecurity point of how things are going to work out. But you will just be a realigning yourself. Some things do have to come apart for them to come back together and they will mold themselves stronger. And it's beyond molding anything everything already is molded the trueness is already set for you the, the real security in life is already there for you you just have to when the thought comes the doubt to just don't listen to it when the mind hits you with doubt and what if this what if that? What if this happens? You have to remain as the self that observes that. Don't give in to it. And as you remain the observing self that observes that, you have the higher ground. And eventually all of those programs and thoughts will not have any power over you than the real you. You will find security in the real you. And the true self will remain. And you will realize that there was never any suffering to begin with. We just, in our own interpretations of 
this life created all these things and you will realize the truth and it's for sometimes for some people bittersweet because it's hard for the ego to accept that it was wrong it's hard but that's also a test for you to observe that for you to just observe that and process that and let it go and you will come to this moment of peace and joy and vibrancy and back to what we were initially intended to remain as thank you guys so much for allowing me to speak to you I love you guys sending out nothing but love to you guys remain as your true self go out and play and be yourself go out and live your truest self <laughs> and share it with the world thank you guys i love you guys peace always be with you namaste until next video, Om Amitabha.